Welcome to this overview of the new clip launching features in Waveform. You can access the clip launcher by either using Waveform Free and purchasing the Launcher Performer expansion, or by simply using Waveform Pro 13. You'll find the clip launcher in the Mixer panel, which can be brought into view with the M key. You can then enable the clip launcher with this button. Additionally, you can toggle between the Mixer and Arranger panels by using the Tab key. You can drag clips into slots in the same way as the Arranger. You can also copy, paste and drag clips between the two panels. A nice way of adding content is via the browser and once you've found something appropriate, simply drag it to an empty slot. You can toggle between standard and larger row views with the Mixer View button. By default, audio thumbnails only appear in the larger row view, but you can also make these appear on standard row heights from the Settings Appearance page. Once you have a clip in a slot, you can trigger it by pressing its play button. You'll notice this also starts playback in the arranger from the new start flag. If the project is already playing, the clip will be triggered, but won't start playing until the next launch quantization point. By default, this is set to one bar, but this can be changed from the master track. You can also re-trigger a clip that's already playing. You can stop a clip by pressing the track stop button below the slots. Notice this is also quantized. The clip launcher supports all types of clips, so you can play back MIDI, step, and edit clips as well as audio. Just make sure you add instruments to the relevant tracks for MIDI and step clips. A row of slots across multiple tracks is called a scene. You can trigger all clips in a scene with the Scene buttons on the master track. Click one of these and all clips will be triggered to start at the same time. If you have content in multiple scenes, triggering clips in another scene will stop the playing clip. With this, you can move through sections of your song while keeping everything in sync. Launching Clips also plays back the Arranger Transport. To keep launched clips in sync with the Arranger, changing the transport position whilst playing back is now delayed until an appropriate time. This time is also determined by the global quantization. Shorter quantization times will cause quicker jumps, but your bar positions may become out of sync. Notice as we change positions, the click track stays in sync with the launched clips. If you have clips on the Arranger tracks, you can play these by using the Back to Arranger buttons. Launching a clip from this point will disable the Arranger tracks clips again. Clips in the launcher have most of the same properties as Arranger clips. You can't however adjust their start or lengths if they are looping as this is determined by when and how long they are launched for. Changing the offset property will determine what position in the launched clip playback starts from. You can adjust the loop start and end points using the Actions panel, Loop Properties window, or the Properties panel as usual. By default, clips follow the global quantization but this can be overridden so a clip has its own launch quantization. We'll cover recording in a separate video, but you'll also notice the Has Stop Record button. Disabling this means that when a scene is launched, if a track is already playing a clip but doesn't have a clip in the newly launched scene and that slot doesn't have a stop button, the already playing clip in that track will continue. This can be really useful if you have a longer clip or a loop that repeats through a whole song. We hope you enjoy this new creative way of playing content in Waveform and we'll dig deeper into the clip launcher 
in the next video.